Okay, Houston, now we have a problem. Let me lock you on my camera here. There we go. Now, it's the case that lots of people are getting medium format cameras now that Fujifilm has developed insanely awesome and incredibly inexpensive um, medium format. And the issue is cleaning thy sensor. I've done it three times now on my own. And um, the issue is actually finding sensor swaps. And I do have... Uh, some really crappy uh, sensor swabs that are really hard to come by and insanely expensive that are made for the uh, Pentax uh, 645Z and the Mia Leaf, which is the exact same damn sensor that's in the all GFX cameras. However, I don't recommend buying those. I did a consultation with uh, one of the world's largest, I can't tell you who, who because he told me to keep it a secret, uh, sensor swab manufacturers and uh, I told him my idea and he's like that's a perfect idea because we're doing the same thing with some of the uh, medium format uh, stuff that we have for cleaning the sensors and I'm going to show you how to do that because now that all these people are getting medium format it's like how do you clean your damn sensor right you don't want to ship it off and pay Fujifilm 50 bucks do you do you want to do it no you need to clean your own damn sensors you're cleaning your full frame and crop sensor camera sensors you should be cleaning your own damn medium well how that's a really expensive sensor i don't know about clean. it's not it's just a larger sensor it cleans the same way girlfriend okay here's what you do okay this one is 33 millimeters wide all you do is take this is a crop sensor sensor swab right <laughs> look at the difference in the width here's the width on the medium format and here's the width on this is for fujifilm xt2 xt3 2 xt2 xt3 sensor and i've got two of these that i've already used so you keep your old swabs okay right and then you pull the cloth off that comes on them and then what you do is you take an old credit card or a gift card and you cut it down, it doesn't matter actually how you taper it down here, but you actually glue it, super glue, industrial super glue between the two uh, paddles. And of course it needs to bend, which of course it will. It's just a, this is an old gift card where you can use an old credit card. You glue it between there, but it has to be exactly a 30 millimeter, excuse me, 33 millimeters wide. Let me repeat that again. 33, 33 millimeters wide. The only additional thing you need to do to it is take some ultra fine sandpaper. You know that really fine sandpaper that almost feels smooth? Ultra fine. And uh, just take the edge off of uh, the side of the gift card or credit card, okay? What you're doing is you're creating a rounded tip. Obviously a credit card has, you know, it has corners on it, right? So you're going to take those damn corners off, right? Right. And then what you're going to do, I was like, well, you can't clean it with this. Well, no, I'm getting to it. You can get peck pads. Um, you can get like a uh, hundred peck pads, which will last you like three lifetimes. You take one of those out. You see I have a rubber band right down here. You can use tape. It doesn't make any difference. You fold the peck pad over this. Make sure that you never touch the peck pad where it's actually going to touch the sensor, okay? So you gotta be really careful with the peck pad. Bend it over the top of this without ever touching the edge, it's gonna touch the damn sensor, right? Don't do it. Let's just pretend that this is a peck pad, okay? So I'm gonna bend it over like this. And of course, this is much larger than the peck pad. And down here, I'm either gonna hold it while I actually do the sensor cleaning, or what I can do is you can tape it or rubber band it. And then, of course, you put two drops. So you recommend using this stuff, Eclipse Solution. This is made by uh, Photosol, who uh, sells the sensor swabs. You know, bleep, 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 couple drops. Okay, it'll be on both sides. You can do one drop here and one drop on the other side. And then, of course, you clean. I've cleaned my GFX sensor three times already. You know, clean your sensor. You swipe one way like this. And you turn around and swipe it like that. And, of course, peel off that peck pad and toss it. And here you have your reusable sensor uh, cleaning swab. Totally reuse it. Every time you reuse it, make sure you like use some isopropyl rubbing alcohol and let it dry so you get every bit of grime or possible oil. Because, you know, when you're done with it, you're probably going to accidentally touch it. No big deal. So you use rubbing alcohol to get all oils off the tip of this, okay? So every time you use it, isopropyl alcohol that, you know. 70%, 90%, whatever the case. This will last for, God knows, probably over 100 sensor cleanings, right? And a, a 100 pack of peck pads, like, what does it cost? Like $5 for 100 pack of peck pads. This is what you need to do to clean your medium format sensor. Okay, just remember to take some fine sandpaper and round it. Obviously, when you get done sanding it, really isopropyl alcohol, or, you know, soak it in some clean distilled water and fling it off and then dry it off. 
and then isopropyl alcohol. So there's your tip on how to clean the sensor inside your medium format GFX, whether that be a GFX 50S or GFX 50R. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, please click the link below. And uh, peace out, Girl Scout. Let me know if you have any questions and email me. Okay? Thank you.